Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So we are at Walgreens and we are going to try to get the deals from yesterday, July 2nd. Now there are some great deals here at Walgreens this week and I'm going to be on the hunt for some clearance finds thanks to Rachel from Running Kimono. So hopefully I can find some of those awesome clearance finds. But I'm excited about Walgreens. I seem to be liking Walgreens more and more than any other store right now. It's starting to be my new jam as far as couponing goes, so I'm super excited to get in there. I do have the printable breakdown for you in the description box below for you to print, gather your coupons, make it super easy peasy for you to be able to go and score these deals as well. All right, so we're going to go inside and see what we can get at Walgreens this week. All right, the first deal I have is the Neutrogena Acne Wash. They are $7.49 at my store. You're going to use this $2 off of one one booklet coupon you're gonna pick up two so it should take four dollars off you're also gonna use two of these three dollar off of one coupons so after you use all those booklet coupons and the coupons.com coupons it will be 62 cents each when you buy two which is a pretty good deal going from 749 to 62 cents so next deal up. is on Huggies diapers and on pull-ups so they are on a promo this week two for $18 and also when you spend $25 or more, you'll get a $5 register reward. So you're gonna pick up two of these Huggies and you're going to pick up one pull-ups. And you're going to use two of the $3 off one coupons that are on coupons.com, still available. I printed mine yesterday. And you're gonna use one of these $2 off of one for the pull-ups from also coupons.com. And there's also some rebates on Ibotta, guys. There's a $2 off of one for the Huggies, and there's a $2 off of one for the pull-ups. So you'll pay $19 out of pocket, receive that $5 register reward, submit the $4 in credits, making each pack $3.33 each when you buy three, which I think is a pretty good price on diapers and pull-ups. So stock up this week at Walgreens. If you need toilet paper this week, there's a pretty good deal on Angel Soft. So they are $3.49. There's a $0.50 cent off of one coupon in the July booklet coupon book and there's also 45 cent off one coupons from the red plum 64 or angelsoft.com you can print out so after you use those coupons it will be 254 for this nine big roll pack Puffs tissue is on sale for 99 cents we got those 50 cent off of one coupons from the July PNG insert yesterday so after you use that coupon it will make these guys just 49 cents so Rachel we are out of the papaya chapstick at my store but guys y'all check your store to see if you have the papaya chapstick it is on clearance for 55 cents, which is a great deal. Also have some Walgreens ones that are on clearance up here. One's out for 39 cents. That would have been a good one. But 75 cents isn't bad for that coconut lime. They also have $2.49 for the three pack of chapstick, which is a pretty good price. And $1.19 for the pink grapefruit, which y'all know we can get these for a dollar at Dollar Tree right now. Not pink grapefruit, but other flavors. So check your wags for some good clearance on chapstick. One of my favorite deals this week is on the Colgate toothpaste. So they are on a promo for two for six dollars. And also when you buy two, you get a four dollar register reward. So that's a pretty awesome deal in itself. So you're gonna pick up two of these toothpastes, and they also have the total included as well if you don't want the Colgate white but we have these two dollar off of one coupons that came in the smart source 625 so use two of those after you use those coupons you'll pay two dollars out of pocket receive a four dollar extra uh, register reward back and this will be a two dollar money maker when you buy two so awesome stock up price on toothpaste this week and again as you can see the total is included as well so pick up your toothpaste for a two dollar money maker this week. completely wiped out but the nice sugar four pound bag with the in ad coupon is supposed to be a dollar 89 but as you can see they're already wiped at my store but pretty pretty good awesome deal on hellman's mayonnaise they are already on sale for 2.99 but we got a dollar off one coupon from the red plum 625 that you can utilize making these a dollar 99 which i think is a really awesome price on mayonnaise so if you need mayonnaise in your pantry dollar 99 at wags butterball turkey bacon is on sale for a dollar 20 this week and we also got these 55 cent off of one coupons from the smart source 625 so after you use that it will make the bacon just 74 cents a pack which is a pretty awesome deal and also their name brand eggs are on sale for 79 cents which is a smoking hot deal because the cheapest I can ever find these is like for a buck at Dollar General so 79 cents I'm stocking up some candy deal if you still have those 55 cent off of one coupons that were from the smart source 618 I used all mine at Walmart but it's a pretty good deal
deal if you still have them. It's 69 cents on sale, y'all, and you're going to use a 55 cent off of one coupon from the Smart Source 618. There's also a 50 cent off of one Ibotta credit you can use. So you'll pay 14 cents out of pocket, submit that 50 cent Ibotta, making this a 36 cent money maker. And with the Ibotta credit, I think you can do it multiple times. So if you still have a lot of those coupons left, use them for a big money maker this week at Alright, last deal is if you receive that spend 20, receive 7,000 points perk that you can load to your card. Not everybody got that, but I know a lot of you did. So Schick razors are supposed to be on a promo for two for $12 this week. My store is not tagged, but as you can see there, two for $12. And when you spend $15, you're supposed to get 3,000 points back, which is equivalent to $3. So you'll pick up four of these. You'll use two of the $7 off of two coupons. If you still have them, they're no longer available. They do have $5 off of two and $3 off ones from coupons.com you can use. But if you have two of those, use two of those $7 off twos. You'll pay $10 out of pocket, receive that 3,000 points back for spending $15. And you'll also receive 7,000 points because you did hit your $20 threshold. So final price for all four will be completely free, which is an amazing deal. However, mine are not tagged, so I'm kind of... Um, leery on which ones to get. I'm going to have to look at this pretty closely, but we're going to go to the register and hopefully everything works out in right, our favor. I'm going to show you everything that I picked up and go over my receipts when we get home, but I just had to pop on here before we get home and tell you about my horrible experience here at Walgreens. I got that couponing Hitler. Rachel from Running Kimono said I shouldn't call her a Nazi. I should say Hitler because it's worse. Um, I got her again in horrifying experience so I feel for y'all newbies because y'all are like oh my gosh they treat me like crap when I go into the store I just leave my stuff I don't even get it I stand my ground because I'm seasoned but I, I'm still shaking I still get nervous I still you know shake up when they treat you like that because it's horrible um, every coupon that she scanned a roll of the eye a huff and the puff one of the coupons didn't go through for the diaper so she's like well I'm not taking I said well it's legit you know, can you call a manager? Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. You know, just screaming. It'd be different if there was a line of people. I was the only one in there, guys. I go early, so I don't hold up any lines. Nobody behind me the whole entire time. I can see her getting frustrated if that was the case, but it wasn't. Treated like total and utterly crap. I mean, I felt like a piece of nothing. And I went and talked to the manager about it because he's super nice. He brings Trey suckers the whole time we're in there when Trey's with me. He did that again today. He was the one I had last week, the manager and the cashier that I had last week that I raved about. And I had to talk to him. I said, look, I usually don't complain about people. I said, but when I come in here, I feel degraded. And it's a shame that she treats people like that. You know, and I'm totally nice the whole time. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You know, I'm never rude to her. And I, I was this close to saying something to her. But I said, you know what? I'm going to go to the manager instead. And he was super nice. And he awarded me 10,000 points to my card for you know, being treated like a piece of crap. So thank you to him for, you know, doing, I mean, I didn't ask for that. He just did that, which was super nice, but he's like, you know, I'll talk to her, but I know she's not going to go anywhere. I mean, same thing at Walmart. When you complain about the cashiers there, they're still there the next week. So, I mean, she might get told something, but it's not like she's going anywhere, but you know, I told him, I said, I don't want to go to another store. You're my go-to store, but I'm thinking about going to another Walgreens. And seriously, even though how much I love him, I think I'm going to try another one. Even though they give me crap over there, I think I'm going to try another one. From the experience I had today was horrendous. So guys, stand your ground, talk to a manager, you know, get the deals, but you should not be treated like that. Um, it's horrible the way that some cashiers treat us at these different stores. So I just had to pop on here and tell y'all my bad experience because even though I'm seasoned, I get them too. So I feel your pain. So we have some other running we're going to do and then we're going to go home and I'll tell you everything that I got and what points I got and all that good stuff. So we'll see you in a few All right, y'all. So I'm back home. We actually ran a couple of errands. So I've had time to collect my thoughts about my experience at Walgreens. I even talked to Rachel and reached out to her. So thank you, Rachel, for being that ear to listen to me. I really appreciate having someone to talk to during the moment of what happened. And, um, you know, she encouraged me and said, you know what, don't go to another store, another store, keep going to that store, which I probably already was because I love everybody at that store except for her. Um, they're all super nice and friendly and helpful and, and very couponing friendly except for her. So I'm not going to let her bring me down for sure. And I stood my ground, guys. She gave me crap because one of my coupons didn't scan for the pull-ups and she pushed it through. But again, she made a big scene about it. 
Nobody was behind me. I don't know why she was so frustrated with me, but you know, then in my second transaction, that I'm gonna show you for the receipt, she had an eye roll and then was very sarcastic with her body language and was taking a long time to scan my register rewards at the end and give me the look like, really, you're gonna use all these coupons in this transaction? And I'm like, yeah, because I can. <laughs> but um, just really, really rude, really, really nasty. Um, and the manager didn't have to do what he did, but I appreciate it, but I just hope that he really did tell her something because my whole thing is, is I can take it. I'm a seasoned couponer. She can be mean to me, even though I don't deserve it. But for my newbies out there, it is not fair to anybody that is just starting out to couponing to get treated like that because it discourages them and then they don't get to save for their families and friends. And that's the whole point of couponing. So no, this is a rant on this video, but I just know so many of y'all have the same experience. So, you know, definitely reach out to your managers or call the 1-800 the line and let them know what's going on because this should not be happening at Walgreens at all. So let's get into what I got. So the bubbles were on clearance for 49 cents. So I use those as a filler to use the register awards from my first transaction. I'll tell you about in a minute. The Neutrogena worked out great guys. So that's a smoking hot deal for the Neutrogena. I don't know if y'all could hear me good in the beginning because I was close to the register and that um, the cashier was watching me like a hawk, but those come out to be just 62 cents each when you buy two. That's an amazing deal if you still have those $3 off one coupon. So awesome deal on that. From $7.49 to $0.62, cents, yeah, I was loving that. I'm probably not going to use that myself because um, I'm fortunate not to have bad acne, but I'm going to use that for a donation for sure. The razors um, worked just fine. They only had three of those pink ones and that blue one. My store wasn't tagged, as you saw, so I wasn't sure which ones to get, so I just got the ones that were in the ad. And the register reward printed for the diapers, and it printed fine for the toothpaste. And I got this Enamel Health and this Clean in between, guys. That's new. And y'all know I've been going to the dentist. I've been saying that. And it's because I have cavities in between my teeth really bad. So I thought that might be good to try out. All right, so my first transaction, I did the diapers, I did the Neutrogena, and I did the Colgate Enamel Health. I also purchased, guys, um, Butterball Turkey and Eggs. It's already in the fridge, so I don't have it in here, but I did purchase that as well, and I put the Butterball in the first transaction, too. I saved the eggs for the second. So, if we can see this, there's the, the two Neutrogena, the Huggies, the pull-ups and the two Colgates and the Butterball. So all the coupons came off. Um, there was a you know snag with that $2 one that she had to push through. And then this one was supposed to be $3 for the second Huggies coupon. For some reason, I scanned for two. I wasn't bringing that up because she was being such a mega Hitler. So I didn't want to bring all that up. But my up. total before tax was $24.71. And with tax, it was $29.14. I did redeem 10,000 points because nothing on this transaction um, I was getting points back with. With, um, ex, um, except for, and I'm surprised, and I'll tell you, show you something that works. So we'll look at that in a minute. I didn't think it would work on this transaction, but it did. Um, so I did redeem 10,000 points. Now I had that perk, spend 20, get 7,000 points. It actually came off on this transaction, which usually when you spin, you can't get points if you use points. And it did work this time, but I've told you before, you cannot guarantee that. So that's why I thought this wasn't going to come until my second transaction, but it went ahead and came off of this one. So that's okay, but don't always bank on that. So that was my first transaction and I got $5 back for the Huggies and the pull-ups, and I got the $4 register award back from the Colgate Enamel Health toothpaste, and I also had that $0.99 cent register award from the Mike and Ikes last week and $2 for the organic gummies. So on my second transaction, what I did is I bought the razors, and I also bought an egg that you see there, and I bought three of the bubbles because... I had four register rewards. You register rewards are just like manufacturer coupons and you can only use one manufacturer coupon per item. So I had the three bubbles and then I had the eggs and I had a register reward that would attach to each of those products so it would come off because all my other um, items I was using a coupon with. So my total was 27 cents after my coupons and my register rewards that I redeemed. And I also got back 5,000 points for hitting beauty. 
I hit beauty and I got 3000 points back for the razors. So that was a great deal. Cause so I got the 7,000 bonus points in the first transaction. I got the 3000 and the beauty points here in the second transaction. And then after I talked to the manager he did reward me 10,000 points for my inconvenience with the mean cashier. So my total ending balance of points is 53,980. So definitely a great trip for me. Obviously everything was free when I consider my points that I got back and moneymaker, but you know, man, was it worth it dealing with her? I don't know, but super happy with my trip. I've said in the beginning, I do love Walgreens, but I just don't like when cashiers from anywhere, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, treat you like total garbage. It is not right. And you should not be treated like that, whether you're using a coupon or not. I mean, you just, as a person, you just should not be treated like that at all. We should all treat each other like we would want to be treated. And I just don't know why people are so miserable. If they're so miserable, they need to find another job. I mean, I know some people have no choice, but come on, you got to treat people in a better way. So that was my trip from Walgreens, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you love Walgreens in-store videos and give it a thumbs up if you don't like being treated like garbage, okay? So I feel your pain, like I said. Hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I usually don't ramble, ramble on like this, but it is what it is. And I do these videos every single week and I'd love to have you a part of the family here. And until next time with another couponing video, love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening this time. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.